Hello. Winter is coming. Welcome to my November 2021 report on the solar PV, Tesla Powerwall and other electrical systems at our property in Huntingdonshire in the United Kingdom. This first graph shows the electrical energy coming in from the grid and from our two solar arrays. Full details of our electrical system are shown in the description below the video. The vertical axis of the graph has been altered this month so that the maximum value that can be shown is 70 kilowatt hours rather than the previous 60. The total solar production this month was 221 units, a daily average of 7.4 units. The smaller southeast array on the steeper roof produced much more than the southwest array, confirming that orientation is a huge factor in the output of solar panels. 864 grid units were imported in total, with just 10 of these units at peak rate. This is another big jump up from October, with both the annex storage heaters on in the colder weather and the car needing to be refuelled for a couple of long journeys during the month. 12 units were exported to the grid, which is 1.1% of the total electrical energy coming in and 5.6% of the solar energy produced. The larger chunks of export occurred when the car was not at home. This second graph shows where the energy consumed by the property and the car came from. The figures driving this graph are mainly supplied by the Tesla app, with the car charging figures coming from the My Energy app. As with the first graph, I've adjusted the vertical scale to show a maximum of 70 units on each day. Just 9.3% of the energy came directly from solar, and a further 9% was solar delivered via the Powerwall. So the sun provided around 18.3% of our electrical energy during the month. 21.2% of the solar units went into the car via the Zappi charger. The car also received 200 low rate units from the grid. And for the second month running, the 989 miles travelled was double our usual monthly mileage and cost around 6.6 .6 pence per mile. More than half of the car's charging was away from home some on rapid chargers on long journeys to and from North Wales and York, and some from a 7 kilowatt charger provided free of charge at a holiday cottage towards the end of the month. This graph shows the energy going into and coming out of the power wall each day, as reported by the Tesla app. 91% of the energy that went in during the month was reported to have come back out. This higher than expected figure was due to starting the month at a high state of charge and finishing almost empty. Here's the self-power graph, based on figures from the Tesla app, which reported that the proportion of self-power was 31.8%, but much of this energy originated from the grid. This next graph shows the solar southwest production over the years since 2012. The monthly figure of 92 units was the 7th best November out of the 10 years, below the month's arithmetic mean and median of around 96 units. The cumulative Solar Southwest total over the first 11 months of the year meant that 2021 stayed in ninth place out of the 10 years up to this point, as it has already overtaken 2017's full year output, 2021 is almost certainly going to finish in ninth place. Here's the daily output of the two solar arrays for the past 365 days, with the 28 day moving average lines ending up very close to where they were a year ago. This is the distribution of the energy input for the past 365 days, an expanded version of the first graph. Remember that there were some very dodgy figures given by the Tesla app back in April, especially concerning the export to the grid. And here's an overview of just the daily solar production for that same period. Finally, here's the summary graph for our grid electricity usage since we moved here in the summer of 2011. The grey line is the number of low rate units and the red line is the number of peak rate units used each month as measured on the left hand scale of the graph. The monthly electricity bill shown by the yellow line and the right hand scale was, as expected, well up from the same month last year. The green line shows the feed in tariff for the southwest arrays generation and this is expected to remain below the cost line for the winter months. That's it for now. I'll leave you the home energy usage graphs from the Tesla app for each day of November. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, as it will be 2022 when my next monthly report is published. Bye for now.